Hello and welcome to Oweleke TV News. I am Ramsey Enoch. The news headlines. Tinubu won't sign pact detrimental to Nigerians, says federal government. Corsacs judges head in Ganduja's probe panels. And on the foreign scene, Biden says he screwed up debate but vows to stay in election. And in sport, Nigerian fans worried as Igwe face Benin again. Welcome back. Now the news in details. The Minister of Information, Mohamed Idris, has assured Nigerians that President Bola Tinubu will not enter into any international agreement that will be detrimental to the country's interest. In a press statement on Thursday, the minister admitted that Nigeria recently signed an international agreement, the Samoa Agreement at the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific State Secretariat in Brussels, Belgium. Noting that the partnership agreement is between the EU and its member states on one hand and the members of the OACPS on the other hand. The agitations by lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender, that is LGBT community, for recognition as a condition for getting financial and other support from advanced societies. The Federal High Court in Kano on Thursday gave a 48 hours ultimatum to two Kano judges, Justice Lawal Abdamu and Justice Zuwairu Yusuf, to resign their appointments from the Judicial Commission of Inquiry set up by the state government. The two judges were appointed by the Kano state government, Abe Yusuf, to serve as chairman of the two commissions of inquiry to prove ex governor. Abdullahi Ganduje's administration. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, that is NCAA, announced on Thursday that it has suspended the licenses of 10 private jet companies that violated the agency's regulation. The development was made known by the NCAA's Public Affairs and Consumer Protection Director, Michael Achimugu, in a statement posted on the agency's official X page. According to the statement, NCAA Regulations 2023 Part 1834 forbid holders of permanent for non-commercial flight, PNCF, from using their aircraft to carry passengers, cargo, or mail for hire or reward. Let's go on a short break. We will be right back. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. Visit our website at www.obeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Obeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. The governor of KB State, Nasser Idris, has declared Monday, July 18, as public holiday to mark the beginning of the new Islamic calendar, Muharram. According to him, the first of Muharram is on a Sunday due to the importance of the Islamic New Year. The government decided to shift the public holiday to Monday. Six students from three secondary schools in Nigeria have received top in the World Outstanding Cambridge Learners Award for the June and November 2023 Cambridge Examination Series. The country director of Nigeria's British Council, Lucy Persin, announced this on Thursday night at the British Council Recognition and Outstanding Cambridge Learners Awards in Lagos. Up next are stories on the foreign scene. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. Visit our website at www.obeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Obeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. On the foreign scene, U.S. President Joe Biden has admitted he screwed up in last week's debate against Donald Trump, but has vowed to fight on in the election race and move to reassure key allies. He told a Wisconsin radio station he made a mistake with his stumbling performance but urged voters 
to instead judge him on his time in the White House. On Wednesday, as a report suggested he was weighing his future, he worked to calm senior Democrats, including state governors and campaign staff. In entertainment, popular Nigerian cross-dresser James Brown is ecstatic after the federal government inked a $150 billion Samoa Pact to promote LGBTQ rights yesterday, July 4th, 2024. A piece of information leaked online that revealed that the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Tinubu, signed the contentious Samoa Agreement, which promotes LGBTQ rights. Speaking further, the overjoyed James Brown stated that he knew he would one day control Nigeria, but he never imagined it would happen so soon. And in sports, the battle of optimism and pessimism is on between Nigeria and Benin Republic after both countries were drawn in the same group for the 2025 Afghan qualifiers on Thursday in South Africa. Afresh from beating Nigeria 2-1 in the 2026 World Cup qualifiers in June, the Chetas and the Super Eagles are drawn in Group D of the series, which also has Libya and Rwanda. Another team in Nigeria scoring 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying group. Next year's AFCON will be held from December 21st, 2025 to January 18, 2026, following the decision of CAF to adjust the schedule of the tournament due to congested FIFA calendar. And just before we go, here is a recap of the headlines. Tinubu won signed pact detrimental to Nigerians, says federal government. Cossacks judges heading Ganduja's probe panels. And on the foreign scene, Biden says he screwed up debate but vows to stay in election. And in sport, Nigerian fans worried as Igu face Benin again. And that's the package on our news bulletin. Kindly follow us on all our social media pages at Oweleke TV. Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv. I am Ramsey Enoch. Many thanks for watching.